This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. As you all know, I didn't have a show last Sunday evening because I went and saw the the, the Joker movie uh, with uh, my escort uh, for the evening. I posted a photo of uh, who that was on uh, my Facebook uh, page and a Gab account, so you can guess uh, who it uh, was. Uh, but yeah, it it definitely lived up to expectation. The 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 Joker movie and. It's one of the the reason why it's hated by the elites, the uh, the mainstream media, and of course social justice warriors is because it exposes who they really are. That they've created people like the the Joker, and it's interesting because uh, one of the main uh, villains in that movie is the talk show host played by by Robert uh, De Niro and I'm surprised that Robert De Niro accepted this role because uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers away but he mocks uh, the Joker's comedy uh, routine and you see this uh, a lot of the uh, these sort of alleged uh, comedy or commentary shows uh they they tend to if 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 somebody is acting silly in a viral video they'll they'll mock it even though that person is way way below then and of course uh, the joker is invited uh, on the show and i won't give away the ending but during his appearance on the show the joker basically says to the the talk show host uh, uh like this is how you see society and that's when he sees his famous uh my life is not a tragedy it's comedy because everything's subjective you've just decided that a society is functions in a in a certain way and you actually see during the movie an actual working class revolution born of course the uh, uh, the philosophy of Marxism was created by a member of the the bourgeois. Uh, all of the the Marxist uh, revolutions they they come in countries throughout the twentieth century. They all came from the the intellectual educated uh, people. A lot of them having uh, privileged upbringings, and so it wasn't actually what Marx wrote about the the spontaneous rise up of the plot. Pl Politaria. And of course, if you look at the Antifa and the revolutionaries today, they all, well, they're all white and come from privileged uh, backgrounds. And But in the Joker movie, you actually see what is a genuine people's revolt, not one organized by by some uh, rich kid who, who suddenly wants to, to fight the system. And uh, that, of course, freaks them out because it's not something that they uh, created. And, of course, uh, one of the uh, uh, the people that uh, bully the, the Joker is a bunch of uh, investment merchant uh, bankers. And, obviously, the in the, the, the Batman comics, uh, the Joker is the villain to, to, to Batman, who is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is a young boy in this movie, and his father, Thomas Wayne, is running for, for mayor. And uh, Thomas Wayne says, oh, these people are the dregs of society, the ones protesting. I'm their only hope. I know better than them. Basically, the elitist thing that the working class, uh, they only know, I only know what's, what's good for them. They listen to me, and their failure is their their own fault okay and go it's, so it's basically that the the elites know know best and our complete our our whole society at the moment is completely based on merit there's no nepotism or i i, I you'd say elites and so uh, thomas wayne he's portrayed in in quite a, in quite a a crass uh negative light and there is during the movie, uh, uh, hints about uh, elites covering up their their various crimes and indiscretions, which sort of reminds you of uh, something that's been in the news the the past past few months that uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein uh, didn't kill himself, but uh, that's what we're told. And of course, uh, supposedly the people like uh, Thomas Wayne, they say that they're the, the compassionate, tolerant people, but as we all know, uh, they're the biggest bullies uh, that uh, exist 
in society. The social justice warriors, they, they say they, they claim about the poor and the downtrodden and the vulnerable, yet they're the ones who are, uh, are calling white people uh, poor white trash. Uh, it's, if uh, Obviously, I was just talking about before, Movember, men's mental health. They, they, a lot of them think it's, it's good that men are suffering because uh, they've got male privilege and they need to suffer. That's how cruel-minded a lot of these, these people now. And so this is why I was so amazed that the joke was allowed to be made because it exposes the fraud that the elites and the mainstream media and the social justice or as have perpetrated on us and allows basically the, the demonized not just white man, but uh, who they think are the privileged elite people, which it's, uh, as it's called, it's an upside down world. And you're noticing now that uh, this is why they hated the Joker so much is because the, uh, the Joker's uh, laugh uh, uh, by Joke Phoenix and uh, of course the, the line, uh, it's not a tragedy, it's a comedy, it's now seeping into popular culture now. That's why they hate it so much and it's also a uh, red pilling normies because i got my tickets from the box office from a a young white lady who said to me oh it's one of the best movies i've ever seen and i'm pretty sure she's just a box office usher at a movie theater uh she's probably not political at all but she's seeing the message and this is also what they hate that normies are getting indirectly red peeled by this movie and will maybe look at things differently that terrifies them obviously they fear people like us but they think they've got the they think that they can control us but what about all the other because the the joker is is it's become one of the the highest uh, grossing uh, horror uh, movies of that uh, was ever made and obviously because a lot of normies are seeing it and that's what scares them so much and why they will not want another movie like that again and again obviously robert de niro i i go back to him i don't know why i accepted that role because he is the the fuck trump guy which shows that uh, he probably doesn't have actually much self-awareness when it comes to his own ac acting but uh, also the role of uh, thomas wayne it was originally going to be played by alec baldwin who of course uh, plays donald trump on saturday night live and so obviously he he pulled out uh, alec baldwin not because he disapproved of the role because of his scheduling conflict but i think that would have been epic if alec baldwin had played thomas wayne with no self-awareness that he's actually playing himself so yes it was an incredible movie experience it you'd give it probably 4.8 4.9 stars out of five there's not often that a movie engrosses you so much it was perfect like the score was perfect cinematography it was incredibly well directed produced everything else about it was was excellent and it definitely deserves the accolades not just for the message but for basically just how well acted and produced it was this is will's front brought to you by the unshackled.net